Hey there, I'm Nev, I'm a dev, and today I want to talk about how to integrate motion.dev or the new motion into Svelte. Because um, when I heard that motion was now like kind of framework agnostic, you know, like just for um, vanilla JS, um, I was very hyped. And um, yeah, today I just want to show how to integrate this. So um, here we are on the website of uh, Framer Motion, or uh, not Motion, but on Motion.dev. Let's go to JS, and we have a little um, thing right here. Um, and we have a little uh, thing. Let's quickly open the terminal. And we are going to create a new Svelte application. And this should open up our VS Code. And the thing should already be installed. So the only thing left is motion that we need to install and then we can actually already go ahead and run pdev and we have this little thing right here um so yeah what i want to do is create a little example kind of application in here so i don't know let's create a button and give it a bg sky or yeah bg sky <laughs> right button here and i think we can give this whole thing here also a little bit more of padding or margin um yeah so we now have this little button right here um and now we have all of these uh, kind of primitives you know like animate and scroll and like the first the the most basic thing that we can do is uh yeah let's set the length to ts uh the most thing basic thing that we can do is um do um, animate and then just animate this for example and we need to go ahead and give this an ID of a button let's make btn and let's change this to hashtag btn and now probably nothing will work. Yeah, that's because, yeah, document is not defined. So this actually needs to be wrapped in an effect. And yeah, this needs to be wrapped in an effect. So yeah, now you can actually see this works kind of well. But again, I don't really like this approach because this is not um, like, you know, uh, how is it called? This is not reusable. Yeah, this is not really uh, reusable at all. And one thing that we could do now is to just let um, button be equals to um, dollar sign state and null and then as HTML element, maybe button element, no element, I think is enough. Um, yeah, I think this works as well. And then we can just pass in BTN right here. And we can remove this and just give this bind this and then btn. And now, as you can see, exact same outcome as before. So, um, yeah, we have a nice spinning animating button. Um, we can, of course, also give this like some uh, more things like scale 1.5. I don't know something like that and then also an opacity of um, from 0 or from 0.5 to 5 yeah should fade it in really nicely like yeah probably this works as well yeah cool um, so yeah we got this going on but in my opinion this is still a bit um, not reusable and what, what I want to do now Let's create this little motion.ts file here. Um, and here, let's quickly go to the Svelte um, documentation. Yeah, so it's this one we actually want. And so what we actually need here is go ahead and import this from Svelte slash action. Oops, here, Svelte slash action. And we want to export this. And in here, we basically run an effect um, in here. And 
Oh yeah, this needs to be a motion dot svelte dot ts. This may be also important. And now we can basically take this out and take this out. But maybe call this L. Wait, do we actually need this? No, I don't think we need this actually. I think we just need, we can just pass in node here and then uh, we also need to import this. And then we can basically just go ahead and use, yeah, just use this, uh, which is called, I don't know, rotate um, scale in something like this. And then we can rotate scale in. And this should, yeah, this already works, cool. Um, teardown goes in here. I don't actually know what to put in teardown. Yeah, let's just leave that out. Please comment down below what actually would go in here. But yeah, right, like right now, I don't really know what is going down here. And I don't know why it's giving me this error right here, but I guess this is okay. So what we now actually have here is kind of a reusable, um, animate animation helper kind of um and what we actually also now can do is pass in some props for example data and then we go ahead and type this data into I don't know, rotation is a number for example and then we can just go ahead and do data dot rotation also scale would be data dots wait uh would be scale uh number whoops we can also uh, destructure these values so that it makes a bit more, so that we have a bit more clean code like this. And now we didn't pass any data um, and it should probably also throw an error. No, it does not. Okay, so you actually need to um, place or you actually need to give some, uh, some default values, for example, like Let's pass in 180 here and let's add scale 1.5, I don't know. And now, yeah, now it works again. This is just um, how we actually use this um, use thing. We can also um, put some other things in here. For example, if we uh, want to go ahead and use hover, um, I don't think we need any data. Yeah, I think this works all right. Um, and down here, we just want to have, um, let's quickly search for the hover thing. Yeah, that is what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's just a hover um, helper. Why isn't that? What, what, why? Oh, because, yeah, I'm kind of stupid. Yeah, scale. And now, <laughs> now we need to import that motion. Yeah, this this was just stupid. Let's let's do as hover motion and then just export this here as hover and then do hover motion. I think this is a bit more convenient. And now we of course also need to use hover. No, not this hover. Bro. Um yeah, this one. And um, and let's just add the scale of like 1.5, right? Yeah, and it doesn't work. Okay, I mean, this looks pretty much like, yeah, I guess we could do that. Okay, yeah, that makes actually kind of sense that you need to um do this um now that i'm thinking about it yeah why is it so small all of a sudden uh because this is basically we're uh, making this maybe 0 0.71 would make more sense here Oh, and I'm just stupid. Um, number or number thing. Cool. Now are you happy? Yep, 
yeah. And now if we hover this, actually, it will do that. And mm, let's actually to make this a little more, bit more beautiful so that actually that I can actually publish this on my GitHub. Um, let's also remove this opacity thing because I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Mm. We can go ahead and just add a rotate like minus 90, or minus 180, and then zero. I think this is pretty uh, beautiful. Yeah, cool. And uh, I don't think this actually needs to be so long. Do we, can we? Yeah, we can. No, we can set the duration here. 100. I hope this is milliseconds and not seconds. Oh, this is seconds, definitely. Um, so I don't know one. One is enough. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much a little kind of crash course or whatever about like um, these actions, and also like how to use basically any vanilla library. In Svelte, I actually have this video idea from this guy. Use any JavaScript.typescript library in Svelte 5 the right way. And I got a lot of comments about motion um, integrating this into Svelte. And this kind of, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, and yeah, sh shout out to this guy. He seems to make very cool content. Um, cloud code, yeah. I, I also got to check out cloud code, for example. Um, but yeah, uh, really from, uh, this guy, I have the video idea. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, you can, um, do what I just did, like basically with all of the, um, JS libraries out there that are kind of like, you know, a bit more of a hassle to work with, especially when you need to, you know, um, append these elements to your, um, to your functions from the JS library. So this is actually pretty helpful for that. And yeah, with these words, I wish you a great Sunday and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.